For those of you that are familiar with our brand, Vertex Effects, you know that we primarily operate in the guitar effects pedal arena. However, this year we decided to endeavor into something new because it's always been a passion of mine to go after the sound of my favorite amplifiers of my favorite players. And such amplifier is the Dumble Steel String Singer, which was used by some of the most iconic guitar players of all time and some of my all-time favorites. Guys like John Mayer, guys like Stevie Ray Vaughan have all been users prolifically of this particular Dumble amp. But there's some shortcomings of it that make it impossible for a regular guitar player to really be able to use in an everyday situation, whether that be in a studio or on stage. Some of those drawbacks are, firstly, they're hundreds of thousands of dollars, if you can find one. But secondly, if you ever have the opportunity to play one, which I've very luckily have had many opportunities to play a Dumble Steel String Singer, it is so heavy and so loud that there's very few venues where you can really get the true essence of what the amplifier is designed to do. And so what I sought out to do is take the elements of that amp that were my favorite kind of sonic essences of what it does and distill that down to a half powered size portable version of a steel string singer with some of my tweaks and modifications in order to make it a more pedal board friendly platform so that you could use your favorite overdrive distortion pedals in front of it and also any sort of delay, modulation, reverb, et cetera, all gonna work great into this. Now, this amplifier is still a very expensive amplifier. And if you're familiar with our YouTube channel, you know that we've explored other great clean amplifier platforms, things like the Hot Rod DeVille ML, the Michael Landau Signature Edition being a great and inexpensive pedal platform, and also some vintage amps like the Paul Rivera era Fender, such as the Concert, are also available very reasonably and are great pedal platforms. This is certainly within that realm of clean pedal platforms, but I feel like it takes it to another level. You know any time that the word Dumble is invoked, you're invariably going to provoke some reactions from people and critique the product. And I'll be the first to say that this is not a one-to-one -one replica of a steel string singer, although it's very close in a half-powered format. But the things that it does do that is akin to what you would expect from a Dumble is the touch responsiveness, the natural compression that you get out of the amplifier where you can really feel a bounce under your fingers and there's this interactivity between what's going on on the fretboard of your guitar and what's coming out of the speaker of the amplifier. And to the degree to which it's possible to capture some of the magic of those clean sounds of a Dumble amplifier, this amplifier is able to do in a half size portable package. It has a 112 speaker, it's all tube, it is completely hand-wired point to point, it has some of the best craftsmanship available in the world. Another asset of this amp, similar to Dumble amplifiers, is that it has a reverb sending control so that you can really dial in the perfect amount of reverb with whatever type of tone that you're going for, and we'll show some examples of that today as well in some of the sound clips. And as far as the volume of amplifiers that we plan to push out, no pun intended, we're only planning to make roughly a dozen amplifiers per year. And once we've completed those dozen, we will not produce anymore until the next calendar year. So I know this is very expensive for an amplifier, but it's also highly limited. And because it's so limited, we don't have the benefits of the economies of scale of making thousands and thousands of amps in every single run. But enough of me talking about the amplifier, let's hear how it sounds. For the examples today, I'm gonna to be using a 50 style Fender Custom Shop Stratocaster. And I'm gonna be using a combination of pedals today to illustrate some different tones and how they might sound into the front of the Vertex Doctor Special Amplifier. For the delay tones today, I'm gonna to be using the J-Rocket Audio Clockwork Delay, which is a Memory Man style analog delay. And on some examples, you might hear me use a little bit of chorus as well, and that's coming from a Boss DC2W Dimension C chorus. All the reverb sounds are just from the amplifier itself. I don't have any outboard reverb or plugins that I'm gonna be using for these examples. So for this first example, I'm gonna set it kind of somewhere between a clean and an edge of breakup tone, maybe just a little below edge of breakup, where you can still get a little compression and hear a little bit of pop under the strings and a little bit of breath, but it doesn't sound like it's getting into clipping. I'm gonna be using just a hint of analog delay from the J-Rocket Audio Clockwork, and it's really gonna be set very low with the mix so that we really let the reverb shine through so we can hear what that sounds like as an example of what's on board this amp already. Let's go ahead and hear how this sounds.
So that was really a great example of what's possible in this amp in terms of kind of getting some natural compression where I don't feel like I have to go to my compressor pedal. I can get a very natural sort of tubey sounding compression from the amp just about on the edge of breakup, but not quite there. But let's now move it back to something that's a little less gainy and let's try getting a little bit of gain tones using a pedal. So for this example, I'm going to utilize maybe a, just a tiny bit more spring reverb on this. And I'm going to use a Vertex Ultraphonics Overdrive for just a slight amount of grit on this. And this is just going to help me just get a little bit more compression out of the amp and just a little bit of drive out of it. And so that I can emulate maybe some of those classic uh, Pearl Jam, Yellow Leadbetter type tones or even uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd, who kind of has a similar song to Yellow Lead Better, and go to the neck pickup and really just show what the beauty of the spring reverb can do. I'm not gonna have any delay on for this. It's just gonna be a little bit of the ultraphonics, a little bit of the onboard reverb, and just kind of go into that neck pickup and just you know having a little bit more of a heavy right hand. Let's see how that sounds with a little edgier tone using the pedal this time to create a little gain. So although I am no Mike McCready or Kenny Wayne Shepherd, you can certainly hear that the bell-like qualities of the Strat just bloom and have a very nice, beautiful, natural compression to them. Even though we do have a little gain from the pedal, it's certainly adding a little bit to that. But the amplifier is taking that sound and just giving us the most beautiful bloom and decay. Absolutely sounds incredible. And I really love what it does with the Strat. Now with that in mind, I wanna dial it back to maybe slightly less gain on this, and I'm gonna still stay with the Ultraphonics Overdrive on this. And I'm gonna roll back my volume a little bit on the guitar, just to clean it up a little bit, and I'm gonna go with a little bit of delay this time that's a little bit more exaggerated than what we've heard in some of the other clips. And I'm gonna kinda of do my take on a John Mayer style, slow dancing in a burning room, and don't worry, I'm not gonna do what everybody else does in every, guitar store across America, I'll do a little bit more maybe nuanced interpretation of it so you can kind of get a sense of how a little soupier amount of delay mix might translate with that overdrive and how the amp handles that sort of situation, which may be common for many of us where we're gonna be combining delay and some overdrive with maybe an onboard reverb from an amplifier. So let's have a listen to that. Let's see how it sounds. pretty great on that, I thought. I, I tried to do sort of my best version of it to kind of make it a different enough from, from how you might have heard the original on Continuum. But I now want to go to more of a clean, clean example where there isn't any drive at all from the amplifier. So I'm really going to bring the gain down, master volume about the same. And I'm going to add delay on this one and a little tiny bit of chorus just to kind of go through a little bit more of like a pad style example where you have a little bit extra processing. And again, I'm going to use the Boss DC2W for a little bit of chorus. And then I'm still going to be using the delay from Rocket, the clockwork, and then all of the reverb is going to be coming from the amplifier. And maybe I'll just go a tiny bit more exaggerated here for this one with the send and return just to get it a little bit soupier. And again, just let that strat, that beautiful clean strat tone just shine through. Let's listen to that. <laughs> So 
So that sounded really great. I know for some of you that might be over the top in terms of the amount of processing, but it's really just to demonstrate that you still really get a core clean tone out of the amplifier. You still have very much the essence of what the clean amp is doing. And then we're just adding in, again, a little bit of delay, a little bit of modulation. And I, I really just love how it just stays really chimey and clear in a really important control that you can see in, in the examples today, I pretty much have up above 50% as the accent knob. And that's kind of a magic knob on this amp that really helps just dial in the top end perfectly without sounding too shrill or bright. But one thing I haven't done for you is something with a little bit more gain. And usually when we go with higher gain, I tend to want to back off the reverb a little bit. So I'm going to go with a little less intense amount of reverb and kind of back those off a little bit below 50%. And on this one, I'm going to be using the Tone Secret. And that's kind of a combination of a Tube Screamer and kind of a mid-60s Fender style preamp that gets kind of mixed together and blended to make a very beautiful kind of mid to low gain overdrive. And I'm going to be setting this kind of on the higher end of the overdrive that's capable from the actual pedal. And then we're going to be running that directly into the amplifier using the reverb from the amplifier. No other pedals are going to be involved in this. It's just, again, the guitar, the Tone Secret, the onboard reverb from the amp. And I think I'm gonna to go to a middle position on this one so we get a little bit different flavor of pickups. And I'm gonna kinda of do like a little bit of Eric clapton -y, like kinda of outside woman blues type thing and just see what it sounds like kinda of playing more of a rhythmic sort of vibe on this. I think that, uh, I think it'll give us a sense of how well it holds together when you're using a little bit higher gain and then how you're still getting the essence of the Strat and then the amplifier is just translating that beautifully through the speaker. Let's have a little listen. So I hope that you enjoyed this demonstration of the Vertex Doctor Special Amplifier and that you enjoyed the tones as much as I have. This has been a real dream of mine to be able to have an amplifier in the marketplace that really, again, expresses the tones that I hear in my head that's been influenced by some of the greatest guitar players of all time and inspired by the amplifier that they use, the Dumble Steel String Singer, and kind of taking that idea and paring it down to something that's more manageable for tours and for studio, that's portable, 50 watts, a 112 speaker. And this is really something that you can take to any context, put some pedals in front of it and get a better result at the end of it than what went into it. It is a really fantastic amp. And again, I've painstakingly gone through this to ensure that it's gonna work with whatever your combination of pedals and instrument may be. Now, if you're interested in this amplifier, you can check out our Vertex website where we list all of the dealers of this particular product so that you can go and find somebody near you. Again, this is only limited to 12 amplifiers a year. So I highly recommend that if you're interested in one, you either pre-order if one is not available or you get your order in as quickly as possible to ensure that you get one of whatever the allotment is that, that dealer has coming to them. Secondly, if you have any questions about the capabilities and features of the amplifier, you're welcome to put those in the comment section and I will personally be answering all of those. If you like this video and you like this demo of the Dr. Special Amplifier, I welcome you to give us a thumbs up Again, leave us a comment and subscribe if you're interested in getting more videos like this that you saw today. And until next time, I'm Mason Marangella from Vertex Effects, aka The Rig Doctor, and that was the Doctor Special Amplifier. See you later.